everybody, welcome back to Northern Lion Play Scribble Knots Unlimited. So we are going to continue here. In case you have not been following, uh, we did just unlock something new on Edwin's farm here, but we're actually gonna go to the map to see that. So let's go back to the map. And you can see that now once I get 60 stars, I can come back to this farm, possibly save Lily, or I don't know, engage in some boss quests or something. I don't really fully understand what's gonna happen at that point, but before that, we still have a ton of levels to get to, as you can see here. Uh, before we end up actually finishing the game ourselves. So we I think we've been here But we're gonna start going to these new levels that I have not been to yet So we're gonna start with underscore mine So we still got at least like 10 levels left even though we are gonna cross 60 star right possibly in this very video I don't I don't actually know what we have right now uh, But we're definitely over 50 because we've unlocked that last region with the rockets and stuff We've got some frozen men and woolly mammoths down here some stalagmites and stalactites a chef with the cutest goddamn dimples I've ever seen and what else do we have? A minecart, minecart carnage, canary. <clears throat> Let's see what this canary's got going on here. He thinks it's poisonous down here. Protect me from lethal gas. That is easy. We will give you a gas mask. Easiest star right I've ever earned in my entire life. <clears throat> Although really, you know, if the canary's in the mine to try to defend people from the effects of lethal gas, giving it a gas mask is not helping anybody out here again. Occasionally, Scribble Knots has the potential to get a little framey, so bear with me here, but it doesn't really have that big of a, an impact on the game, I suppose, considering, you know, what we're doing in this game. So let's zoom out just a little bit. With star Eyed Vision, where do we want to go? Well, there's one dude down here. There's a quest involving spiders, which I'm sure a lot of people are going to love. Uh, but for the most part, I think we just need to get way down in here. So obviously, what we should do first is actually just give ourselves a jetpack, which will allow us, oh, sorry, will allow us to kind of speed through things a little bit more quickly. It just makes our maneuvering a lot easier. What's up, Dimply Chef? These mushrooms need an adjective to make them taste better. All right, what if I made them? Right now, they are just mushrooms. So if we add adjective and make them, what about like savory mushrooms? Maybe now they're good? All right, he likes that one, I think. Uh, we'll add an adjective to this one. It can be a salty mushroom. All right, it's turned into pizza somehow. Is this enough or do I need to fix this other one as well? Probably shouldn't just eat these mushrooms that you find in the caves. Uh, we're gonna make this one a... Sour. Nah, that's probably bad, I guess. What about just a tasty mushroom? Everybody loves it. Alright, that was too easy. So we'll come down here. I can now play as Hector. Which makes me think of, you know, the battle for Troy here. But anyway, star Eyed Vision back on. Who do we need to talk to as we zoom out just a little bit? Well, there are some frozen dudes down here, which is probably going to be something that I should do before we get too much further in. So let's turn this star eyed vision off, and we'll talk to this guy. Help us, we're trapped. Okay, what if I made... Oh, God, no, I didn't want to do that. Okay, yes, underscore mines, continue, please. This is a fairly short level. Um, we need to warm them up a little bit. What if we made a warm, beautiful singer? And then we just put her, like, next to this thing? Will any th be, will her warmth be enough? I don't know. Make a move for it, singer. My heart will go on. Why can't I drop you here? She's becoming an ice princess. Uh, well, the easiest way to do things, I guess, would just be to put like a uh, minuscule sun. And if I put like a minuscule sun over here, that should melt it in like two seconds. Oh, it also killed them all. No way they lived. It melted the ice block. Okay. I thought it was killing them, by the way, that health bar went down. Sometimes it can be a little bit uh, difficult to see what's being affected by what. So that is three of our star right pieces here. Obviously, Van Helsing's going to need some help here. Help me figure out which one is a vampire. Well, if we want to figure out which one of these things is a vampire, I think we are going to need a garlicky mirror. I can't believe that this actually works somehow. Garlicky is an adjective that makes it work but nothing else does really why is this not working I guess we're kind of screwed when it comes to that oh no we found him beautiful all right so vampire hunter is gonna catch him again I have no idea why the frame rate is like two frames per second here you're welcome Van Helsing uh, we have nobody else that needs star eyed oh maybe he still needs star eyed help give me something to hunt the mighty mammoth okay that's easy enough how about I just give you a spear gun what is this awful sound coming from my house right now? I hope you guys can hear that. So I don't seem silly. If my house ends up exploding in some kind of gas explosion... Well, this video will never get rendered, but you get the right idea here. Anyway, he's gonna hunt the mammoth. 
And I am gonna hopefully not die, but anyway, sweet mammoth stakes for everybody involved. I have no idea what is going on there, but that's okay. Uh, we are just going to start up a quest, I guess, so come closer to start me. Oh my god, this is gonna burrow into my brain. I think it's getting slower, though. Save the supermodel from the giant enemy spider. I can do that. Tick. Talk. It's ticking in the wall now, too. I have no idea. Our house is gonna explode. That's okay, though. Caught in the web. All right. Help, help, save me from the evil spider. She's made of ice. Create something that can defeat her. Well, that's easy enough. Why don't we just make, like, a fiery... Is that fiery, or would fiery be, like, fiery spear gun? Uh, this worries me. Can I even attack it from here? There's like a wall in the way, isn't there? I guess first we've got to get rid of this wall. What is this anyway? Steel gate. Uh, use notepad. Oh, we can't even add an adjective. Okay, what, what if we um, just create again? We'll do like a minuscule sun. It's made of ice, so this should be able to do it. Just pop it over right here. Yeah, the spider hates it. Okay, what comes next? Please. Woman with the 50s beehive haircut, help me. Oh my god, it's like a phoenix or something, or a fire tornado. Uh, this is horrifying. Ouch, now she's made of fire, I'll burn alive. This is easy. We'll just create like a, uh, hurricane in here. And the hurricane should be enough to put out the fires. I don't know what I did there, but it, did, the, did the fire destroy the hurricane? How does that even make any sense? Fireproof hurricane. There you go, let's try this now, motherfucker. The hurricane wins. I have no idea what's going on or why this is. She's made of fire. What? Would, blizzard. Fireproof. Blizzard. What could possibly stop this? All right, it worked. I luckily I made myself fireproof. Oh wait, no, I didn't. That's okay. What comes next? I've got to get through this steel gate somehow. Now she's made of stone. Well, water is already good against rock type, but what if we put like a huge Miner. Yeah, destroy it. Mine the spider. The greatest fight mankind has ever seen. Oh god, the miner died, but somehow we still succeeded there, I think. Did we not? Yeah, the steel gate's opening up. This worries me. Uh, do I have to kill the spider now? Now I've got to destroy it. Okay. Best way to destroy a spider that I know is huge, friendly... Oh, he's not... Okay, huge Solaire of Astora. Save the day, my friend. Don't. Oh god, destroy the baby spiders. Solaire, attack the baby spiders! It's the only way. They're attacking me now, which I don't like. Oh, well, as fucking usual, I clicked on the other monitor and Scribblenauts crashed, thereby invalidating that quest that we had done that we actually succeeded at right as the video crashed. But in any case, we're just gonna do this. Uh, quest instead. It's not like we're hurting for star right and now I fixed my monitor setup so that won't happen again I hate that just clicking on the other monitor is enough for the game to crash like that strikes me as a very very silly bug But hey, you know when the game actually comes out in EU in 12 months Maybe that will actually be fixed who knows anyway We're gonna turn Maxwell into a superhero here first give him something for his face to hide his identity I wonder if we could give him like a Veil like a bridal veil or something will that work? I am paper bag man, plastic bag man, whatever. Wardrobe fitting for a superhero. What if we give him some red underwear? And we have him put on the underwear. Oh, that's not the kind I meant. Well, he looks like a disgruntled bride anyway. What about tights? All right, so, oh my god. <laughs> what a sad superhero. And apply an adjective to give Maxwell a special ability. Okay. Hmm, a special ability? Let's give him, uh, da, 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 flying. I mean, it's too easy. What a horrifying superhero, though. Bridal veil, lingerie, and, like, S&M tights. In any case, we have basically completed this level. I mean, we still have to complete the spider quest, but I'm not going to do it again because we were on the last facet of it, so I don't just want to show off the same thing over and over. And like I said, we're not hurting for Star Right, so it's not like it's a huge deal. We'll just consider uh, the mine to be done right now. We're up to 51. We need 60, of course, remember, to finish the game. Uh, well, let's go to our next level, which is going to be somewhere over here. So we just did this one. Now we can move on to Abjad Dunes. Hopefully I'm pronouncing that right, if there is even a correct way to pronounce it. 
If there is a correct way to pronounce it, I'm sure I'm not pronouncing it right. So we've got like a sweet chimera or griffin or something there. Uh, we've got cat burglar, a camel, another grave robber probably, a mime, some Egyptian princes, a turtle. There's a lot of stuff on this level. Let's start with this guy over here. I need to help my kingdom with this shape-changing potion, but I need three more venomous ingredients. Okay, what if I gave him a friendly cobra? And I just like put this in here. And then I gave him a friendly scorpion. We'll pop this in here too. And then I gave him a friendly jellyfish. Ugh, I don't want to touch it. I don't want to touch it. Get in there. All right. Did it work? Oh, Jesus Christ. It did work. Okay. Uh, what about this lady? Achilles seems to be catching up to the tortoise, but he can't catch him. If only I could measure this race. Hmm. Uh, could I perhaps give you a yardstick? Would that make your life easier? I guess it did. I don't really understand. There must be some kind of like mathematical or paradoxical reference there. Uh, does the turtle need help? No, it does not. So we will just move onwards then. Unless this, the finish line needs help, which I don't think it does. So, let's move onwards here. We do have this jetpack on so we can move wherever we want. I can't carve a monument to the pharaoh with just my bare hands. I'm pretty sure we know what's going on here. Huge, purple, dry laser sword. You know, gotta make sure you're mixing it up here. We are in the desert, so some dryness is welcomed. I, really? You have a huge laser sword. Okay, you know what? Chains... Oh, that's not what I wanted to do here. Huge pink chainsaw. There you go. It's clearly, you're not ready... No, I want to give it to him. Clearly, you're not ready for the powers of the laser sword, so I'm going to steal that from you. Uh, that's kind of offensive of me. I apologize. All right, now we'll give him the chainsaw here. Drop the... Oh, my God! It's the thing from Tremors. Give him the chainsaw. Okay, he's got it. I, apparently, we killed the sandworm as well, but this guy still... Can't cover a monument to the pharaoh with just my bare hands. I don't understand what to tell you here, man. I'll give you a chisel. Maybe you can do it with the chisel. All right, that's good enough. Apparently, the laser sword wasn't, but the, the chisel does the trick in a jiffy. Beautiful. Looks good, man. How about the pharaoh? He's happy. What do we have over here? We got some spices. What's this guy taking? The Silk Road or something? I don't even want to get started on this. Oh, Jesus Christ! Okay, is this mime pissed? This is a Dune reference, obviously. Not Tremors. Small sandworm. Sure, whatever. Keep spitting the spice out. Who cares? Um, protect the village from marauding bandits. I don't think this is going to be a problem. Usually these missions fare, I fare fairly well in these. But we'll see. Looks like a nice village. A little bit, perhaps, anachronistic, given that this is supposed to be ancient Egypt, perhaps. So what's step one? The bandit emissary tells you that a gang is coming to raid the village's crops. Maxwell needs recruits to help. Ooh, okay, um, what if we took, uh, legionnaires? Leg- oh god, I don't know how to spell legionnaires. I think that's- well, we can only take one, but that's fine. Sure, we'll take a legionnaire with us. That's good enough. Here comes a ninja, and a construction worker, and a cowboy. We could basically start the village people here. 2.0. Alright. Now an engineer has come to the village's aid. Help him by building fortifications for the town. Uh, we are going to build a city wall. Ah, uh, okay. Well, why don't we just build like a fortress? Like right here. Yeah, we... Oh, God! It's coming down! Alright. Now it looks kind of shockingly like Tatooine, which is a little frightening. Minus the castle, of course. And the upside down fortress. Now teach the villagers how to fight. Recruit someone who can instruct them. Sun Tzu. Oh, come on. Um, d -d 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 Patton. Seriously? We can make Pajon? Like the seafood pancake from Korea? Well, I'll just have some of that. It's delicious. Um, who could it? Well, we could just make like a. Who's a famous. Genghis Khan? I think before we do this, we should probably. Make him friendly, Genghis Khan. Guy has kind of a history of getting up to some bad stuff. Yeah, great general of history. It's gonna help us out here. Can you teach us how to fight you, Ding Dong? Um, okay, you know what? We're just gonna make a teacher. It's the easiest way to do things. Unfortunately. I thought Genghis Khan was really gonna solve the problems for us. Well, we have a fencer, an archer, a conquistador, a sweet-ass, like... 
Dark Souls character. Now recruit somebody who can infiltrate the enemy camp and spy on them. So we need a famous spy. Obviously, James Bond is not going to work here. We can just... Oh, what about a, a geisha? They can be spies. Is that going to work? No, at least she can provide the soldiers with some company, though. Uh, let's create a spy, then. So we'll just pop him down, like, right here. And we'll see what happens next. We've got to be, like, basically done with this quest. Nice. Team Fortress style. Are we done? Finally prepare Maxwell with a weapon. Alright, obviously he needs a bow staff. So we'll give this to him. He will be impossible to defeat now. They're starting to shoot some guns at us. They have <laughs> like pneumatic drills and pipes. One of them even has some star right to use as a weapon. Maxwell, get out of there. Uh, yeah, attack him. Kill the anarchist. How's the geisha doing? Okay. I can't even tell who's me and who... Like, I can't tell who's... The, uh, oh, this is an asshole. Okay, attack her. You can do it. Bow staff prevails. The star ride belongs to me. Alright, that was a fairly easy mission, actually. But that was a lot of fun. It gave me the opportunity ex to exercise a little bit of creativity. I can't believe Genghis Khan didn't help us out there. Uh, but that's okay. So let's check out our star ride vision again. Who needs our help? Nobody over here. At least not immediately. How about this guy? My statue is a bit lifeless. Won't you help? Sure, we'll add an adjective to it. Uh, I think the easiest way to add an, add an adjective to this would just be to make it lifelike. Life... How about ladylike? I didn't really change it. This sandworm is worrying me a little bit. Small... It's classy small sandworm. Okay, whatever. Uh, we need to make it more lifelike. I can't believe lifelike doesn't work. What about, um... Vibrant? Glowing? I don't know. Can we add... Inert. What's the opposite of inert? I guess, like, active? That's not good enough? I always struggle with... Oh! Whoa! I must have fixed it there. I don't know why they all get top hats. That's pretty weird. So lifelike. Yes, I went for lifelike. Grave robber, who is Halle Berry and Catwoman. And help me summon a plague to scare off this grave robber. Okay. Um, swarm. Friendly swarm of locusts? Luxed locusts? Uh, fr friendly swarm of locusts. Maybe that'll work. Uh, friendly... Okay, we need to go back here and rephrase this a little bit. Friendly locust swarm. Locustal sw Whatever. Does it work? Yes, indeed it does. I didn't expect it to. I just want to try something here. Friendly... Northern Lion Swarm. Does it work? I made Northern Lion in the game! What about a friendly Goku Swarm? Nah, it doesn't work like that. Okay, I got it. What about this gentleman over here? You got a problem again? No, he does not. Uh, so much for the friendly Swarm of Locusts that just destroyed that cat burglar there. Now, who else needs our help? We probably need to zoom out a little bit. We've only got 6 out of 8 Starite on the level. We can go down here, though, which we should do. Although there's nothing really down here. This will take us up to Tomb of Onomatopoeia. Haven't we already been there? I think we've been there, and I hated it. Yeah, we've only got four out of seven star ride pieces here. Anyway, let's go back to our map. That was a fairly easy world, and I think we can go uh, to the Oasis here. Camel Case Oasis, and we got time to do another level within this video. I realize I'm not getting all of the star ride pieces. My best advice for you is just to get used to that, because we're not going to 100% this game in all likelihood. Instead, uh, we're just going to play it through until we've at least gotten a sample of every level, and then we'll we'll finish it off. So, golden barrel. This toy barrel needs to be filled with something. I think it's obvious that we need to fill the toy barrel with toy monkey. I don't know. I hate that pluralization doesn't work. But it works. Uh, what about this guy right here? Ouch, these coals are too hot. What if we give him some fireproof cute shoes? I love the tiara. Nice touch. No, put the shoes on the man. He doesn't wear shoes? We could just make the coals cool. What do we need, like a fireproof mat? Alright, here you go, my friend. You can walk on it now. Oh, he's pissed. Ouch, these coals. Fine, you know what? We will make the coals cool. There you go. I mean, that's totally cheating, but... Whatever makes you happy. How about Mr. Penguin here? I'm homesick, hot, sweating penguin. What if we created a tiny North Pole? You think he'd be happy with that? 
We also could have created like a tiny Morgan Freeman to narrate his entire life. Okay, you know what? Uh, air conditioner. Here you go. I'm going to put an air conditioner down on the ground for you. He's happy now. So cold it actually made it snow, apparently. Help me find the lost fountain of youth. What if we created... What do you need to find the fountain of youth? I always forget. Is it the Ark of the Covenant? I don't think that's it. I'm, I'm rusty on my mythology. Do, okay, I... I don't know. Can we give him a map? Maybe that will help him find the fountain of youth? Apparently it will. Don't get eaten by that crocodile. Really? Well, we got the star ride for it anyway. Crocodile got a problem? No, green young alligator. Sorry, alligator. Always get those confused. Who doesn't, though? Anyway, let's get out of here. Alligator is not pissed off at me, which is good. Is this like Sherlock Holmes over here? It's a leprechaun. Basically the same thing. It's the end of the rainbow, yet something is missing. Okay, um... Obviously... We're gonna make a pot of gold here. This is too easy. Scribble knots unlimited. Far too easy. What's up with the snake charmer here? These snakes look angry. I need to charm them somehow. You need a flute, my friend. This will solve all your problems. Okay. How about this leopard? Oh, sorry, cheetah. God, I'm bad with animals. Biology education at work here. Gray elephant. So I guess there's nothing to do there. Instead, we will just complete the quest. Because we're doing okay for Star Ride here, right? Six out of seven Starite pieces, and we need one full Starite, which we'll get for talking to this genie here. Uh, can we just jump up here, or what, what's going on with that? I guess we could do what we always do and just give ourselves a jetpack. Which is just good practice to keep yourself moving around, basically. And what do we have here? Travelers come seeking to have their wishes granted by the genie. Give them what they seek. If one of them asks for more wishes, I'm going to give him a slap in the face. A huge pink wet slap in the face, if you know what I mean. So let's see. Traveler number one from the Assassin's Guild. Um, okay, give the merchant three things to sell. You will sell macaroni. I demand it. How about a, a shirt? I, oh, yes, we'll take shirt. Didn't seem to like the macaroni so much. Okay, so she sold the shirt. How about a macaroni shirt? Ah, oh, it doesn't work. Uh, a maroon shirt. Here you go. Try selling this one. She's proven herself quite an adept salesman so far. What about maroon harpoon? Maroon pants. Yeah, she can sell those. What about fish soup? A fishy soup. Sell the fishy soup. She's not very good at selling food. I'll give her that. Garments, though. Maroon hat. Yeah, she loves it. Okay. The desert is no place for a vampire. Please grant me three wishes to make it more bearable. Hmm. I guess you need, uh, like a delicious baby. And then you could, like, eat the baby. It didn't eat the baby. Um, you need a air conditioner. No question about that. Looking a little ragged right now. No? Uh, you need... Uh, sunglasses. The sun's too bright. That's that's a definite concern here. Okay, there's step one. You need, uh, blood. You can't create blood in this game. You can create, like, a bloody face? <laughs> that's gross. Um, what else would you... Sunglasses, a uh, hat to protect you from the rays of the sun? Apparently not. Uh, umbrella to protect you from the rays of the sun? Yes, okay. And maybe some sunscreen? Is that gonna work? It's kind of a boring solution, but... Problem solved. Okay, thank God. That was proving to be a pain in the- Don't run over the baby! That shirt is hard. I wanna be more funny. Please grant me three wishes. Um, I hate this. How do you make a, a clown more funny? Can we give him a joke? No. Uh, comedian? So we'll create a comedian. He can talk to her. Get some insight. Nope. Don't eat the baby. That's not funny. Um, can we just create some adjectives on him? Uh, we can make him funny. He is funny now. Okay. I don't know what happened there. Funny clown. Funny, hilarious clown. Did that work? I can't tell. This car situation is 
What did we give him? A red nose? He finds it hilarious. A uh, fake mustache. Perfect. The epitome of humor. Not that funny, apparently. Fake mustache is no. Red nose is yes. Um, clown shoes. Ah, uh, clowny shoes. Does he like it? I don't think he likes it. Oh, it worked! He disappeared, though. Which is good, because he was pissing me off. Anyway, we'll pick up our star right here. This will take us up to 54? I can't tell yet. Yeah, it's 54 star. Right? That's pretty good. Making big progress. As we get closer to the 60 that we need. But in any case, I think I'm going to stop the episode here. As always, thank you guys for watching, and I will see you next time. We have a lot of uh, levels left to go. At least 23, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Nine levels left to go, plus, of course, this farm at the very end where we will presumably save Lily. But in any case, again, thank you guys for watching and putting up with my technical woes when I click on the other side of the screen. And I will see you guys next time.